is Bitcoin here now finally breaking down out of this bigger rising wedge that we were talking about now for quite some while because we have closed now here a red candle yesterday outside the rising wedge and are struggling to break back into this resistance area that is something that i want to talk about with you guys today so if you think that's interesting definitely stick around and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and activate the notification bell and now let's get here directly into the content guys um so what we are seeing here right now is of course not good for a bitcoin because we have now broken down out of that rising wedge so and the target would be actually all the way down at twenty thousand seven hundred dollars approximately so and the only way that we can prevent this to happen is if bitcoin manages either with today's candle close or tomorrow by the latest in my opinion to break back into the rising wedge and continue higher so but there are a lot of pitfalls for bitcoin and a lot of things uh, that i see why that could be actually not happening so for uh, for once we have here this big resistance area this red zone here uh, where bitcoin actually also struggled to stay within after we broke into it and we got here uh, multiple rejections along the upward sloping resistance line of this rising wedge and also on the top of this resistance area so and now um we have broken down out of the rising wedge so and first of all i want to say congratulations to everybody who actually shorted that breakdown as i had mentioned uh, two days ago so and the another reason is that we are still here in a highly volume traded area historically so and that is also giving bitcoin a lot of resistance um as we have failed to stay above that specific volume range so now when we are putting some indicators here on the on the chart there things start to look a little bit more bullish at least for stochastic rsi because the stochastic rsi looks like that we potentially today are bottoming out and could see here um the after we hit oversold conditions a move back to the upside so but that is of course not a guarantee what could also happen is that we further break here first down and then actually go back up another indicator that i want to show you guys today so here you can see bitcoin seems to try here at least on the daily chart um, to start to turn around so but it doesn't have to i give you an example here we were also in this gray area so and we had an initial move up exactly as we had here also and then we came uh, came down now and here also we came down and then we flat and we flipped bearish again and went further down so that is something that we definitely have to keep in mind here so and um yeah have to closely watch what is happening here on the daily chart however when we're going now in the lower time frames and we go here for example into the one hour things are not looking as good as on the daily so because we have just started here uh two days ago this downwards trend based on the super guppy and we are not coming out of there just yet so and we are facing here resistance from the lower end from the super guppy we are also facing resistance on the ema ribbons so because we tried to break here back into e the EMA ribbon and got here a harsh rejection and also went under this key area the twenty three thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars and also we are putting in here higher um, lower highs as we had here a high here a higher high and then onwards only lower highs along the way so which is obviously also a bearish structure that we are in right now especially by also putting in lower lows so here lower low here here one and also here a lower low so right now we are here in it is not a perfect uh, falling wedge but some sort of a downwards trending corridor you can say so and there is here based on the daily chart um, a high likelihood that we will see first potentially some lower prices because bit uh, um uh, before Bitcoin actually will come back up here and try to break this um, resistance 
so uh, when we're also looking at the horizontal resistance or um, sorry at the support then here is the next one and you uh, you can see we are sitting just right on it right now so now in 40 seconds uh, this candle uh, is closing and then we can observe what's happening next so when I look here on stochastic RSI um, there we are also still trending down I want to also check for some divergences if there's any to spot there is a small bullish divergence because here the RSI is going up and the price is trending down so um, yeah so we have here a small bullish divergence in the immediate short term so that could mean that uh, we could see a small reversal but uh, I would not get too excited about this until all the indicators have actually cooled down when I um, start looking at patterns now here at the four hourly for example um, and then you can clearly see we cannot make out here anything right now so even on a larger scale there is nothing right now <laughs> to observe and um, besides this upward sloping support line that we have here but yeah that got also um, that got also now retested and we have to also closely observe if Bitcoin can hold this upward sloping support line or if um, we will break this here in the immediate short term. So if you are looking for trades, um, I would potentially either scalp small um, bounces back to the upside uh, or I would wait for the break of this upward sloping support line and then short this if you are not already in a short. And guys, don't forget, if you want to short and long, you can go to Bybit, claim your bonus only with my specific link or on BitGet, the highest bonus available, $8,000 with 15% discount on the fees, also only with that specific link. Otherwise, it would be just $100, $200. So make sure that you sign up there and claim your bonus. Today, I also want to uh, talk about Ethereum because Ethereum is going here a little bit against the grain on the four hour leave because we are still here within the EMA ribbon and we are trying to break in here above the ribbon once again to stay here in this uptrend so we had here a small fake out to the downside so uh, but that was not um, so bad and we are still here potentially in this uh, falling wedge pattern so uh, and we broke it technically already out of it but bitcoin uh, sorry ethereum is fighting right now with the ema ribbon to push here into higher levels when we go here in the lower time frames to check what's happening there so there we are about to flip the EMA ribbon again to uh, be here on a one hourly uptrend. And of course, that will then later spill over in all other um, uh, higher time frames. So something else that I wanted to talk about today is MCRT. So I'm personally invested in the project. I'm also an, an advisor in this project. And they are performing like crazy right now because they are rumors. And I can actually confirm now these rumors with you guys. That is that multiple bigger exchanges will from today onwards list Magicraft. Not all at once. It will be uh, in a certain uh, structured manner how Magicraft will get listed there. But I can tell you that one top exchange will list Magicraft today. So when you look at this here, only in the last day, they are performing like crazy. Also, the last seven days, here, look at this, how crazy this is going. So, and I can tell you that once they are listing on these exchanges, that the price will explode even more. So, I'm really, really happy that I'm invested in this project. They have also the gaming trailer uh, already, uh, already out for the gameplay in the closed beta. We are playing this already. So, and um, just to show you really quick here, yeah, uh, here on their Twitter, so there you see P uh, PvP game is already ready. So here you see some of the gameplay. That's actual gameplay. So this is not uh, cinematics. So and um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. So uh, we cannot stop playing this. Um, but uh, yeah, there are big fix, uh, things to come for Magicraft. So definitely be also on the lookout for, uh, for this. I will leave uh, the Twitter handle in the description and in the comment section uh, of the video uh, so if you want to check this out so and also don't forget at the same time to go to my twitter account here uh, am crypto alex so we finally broke 8500 uh, twitter followers i'm really really uh, thank, uh, thankful uh, to you guys 
for that and now let's get to 10k here um, by the end of the month that would be amazing and uh, before i end this video i also would like to know from you in the comments what you are actually thinking about magicraft and where the bitcoin price is going in the immediate short term are you long or short let me know in the comments below guys that's it already for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you again tomorrow